Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and this is my son Ben. And today we have an exclusive in Schmurren, 10 years of age, mm -hmm. vintage 2007. Yeah, it's a really nice one. Not colored, not chill filtered, distilled 2007, bottled 2018. So it's a, it's a 10 year old because of when in the year it was distilled. And, but it's a whiskey DE exclusive for it's only for our German customers. So it's a... And very nice, it's a cask strength with 52.3% ABV, was matured in American oak casks, American white oak casks and first fill sauterne wine finish. Mm. So it's, it's going to be a nice one. Yeah, um, this one is a single cask. Mm. That was what I wanted to say. Uh, it's a single cask and it's uncolored and see this wonderful brownish mahogany color uh, or amber. So a wonderful dark whiskey even for 10 years of age. And uh, this comes from the first fill Sauterne cask and Sauterne is a French Bordeaux wine. It's a white wine and it's a sweet wine. And typically you have the grapes and they are well, they are spread out in the attic uh, to have the water evaporated and uh, then the relatively content of sugar rises and then you get this very, very sweet wine. And today uh, they are capitalizing those wines. That means they are <laughs> putting sacks full of white sugar. <laughs> <laughs> capitalizing. You can always use such nice terms for such, <laughs> such yeah. yeah, despicable practices. Yeah. So this one is a uh, I have no idea if this is a capitalized Sauterne or a real Sauterne. Um, I think those capitalized Sauternes are <laughs> not maturing <laughs> in Boric casks. So they are just maturing in their normal uh, big, huge fermenters. And uh, there's no period of, of cask maturation. So this should be a better one. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure if it is. Um, yeah, the Inchmurren is part of the Loch Lomond distillery and Loch Lomond has three types of stills. First, those very long column stills. They have two of them and they produce grain whiskey on them for, well, for their blended whiskey range. And there are Loch Lomond whiskies out on the market, uh, blended whiskies. Mm -hmm. The second are typical Scottish pot stills where they produce the Loch Lomond. They are huge and big and given very intense uh, spicy spirit. And then the third one are the Inchmurin stills. Those are uh, typical pot stills and on top of it there is a rectifier with uh, five floors in it where the uh, uh, rectification is done afterwards after the first mm -hmm. pot still. When the vapors come up they are separated better and so there is a light fruity spirit coming over those. And there, to have not the misunderstanding there are Lomond stills out mm -hmm. on the market and Lomond stills have a water cover around the neck of the still mm -hmm. in which a bigger reflux is done. But those stills are not at Loch Lomond. They yeah, are just called Lomond stills. It's strange that they're called Lomond stills and they kind of look like the stills for the Inch Murin. But, yeah, but they're they not. Aren't. They're, not. <laughs> they're not. So the Lomond stills have those this, this water cladding around and uh, the Inchmurin stills have uh, floors, uh, hold floors to have these rectifying reflux floors, yeah. for rectifying. Yeah, the bottle is not that expensive. It's just 70 euros, dollars, pounds. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, oh, yeah, have a try. So 52.3% ABV. So it's quite on the point where you have to discuss if you if you'd use some oh, some spoils. water, mm -hmm. I'm going to try it neat. Uh, or maybe, hmm, should, I? should I? Last one you had neat. I had the last <laughs> one neat. Maybe, maybe I'll... I smell add first. A, add a pure. Oh, pure, pure smelling. Then. Okay. <sighs> yeah. So first is a big fudge vanilla note. More fudge than vanilla. And then there is a lemon note on it. 
Um, there is a black garlic node in it, so the intensity of the other uh, contents, compounds, is not that strong that they are able to cover those 52.3. But with the time, I'm used to the alcohol and the other has become stronger. Yeah, wonderful, intense, fruity, sweet note. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a, for me, it's also a, a fruit, fruity one, but also it's a bit of a, a fresh fruity one. So it's a bit of a, a citrus note, lemons, but combined with a, a nice sweetness of fudge. But the, the fudge and the caramel is not quite as the, the normal bourbon one with vanilla and popcorn. And, but it's just fudge combined with that fresh fruitiness. So it's kind of reminding me of a bit of a, a candy. Mm -hmm. And the official tasting notes are lusciously malty with some sweet fudge and melted brown sugar. There's peach syrup and baked apple with candied lemon peel before gentle cinnamon spices. Yeah, so those spices I think we will see during the tasting. Uh, what do you call it? The, the water just made it a bit, even a bit more fresh. Go a bit more on the fruity and fresh side with fresh apple, fresh pears. I got more more fudge. I have you more, got more water, fudge. <laughs> more water than you have. So last time I did just a few drops in it, just to be below fifty. But now I'm about fifty three, fifty five. Mm -hmm. So a lot less, and then the the fudge side appears. Yeah. Mm. Complete mouthful, intensity, and yolkiness come through. Yeah. And uh, some spiciness in the back. And isn't this cinnamon? The cinnamon bark typically is quite bitter. And this is not that bitter, it's just spicy. And the fruits are, yes, these darker apples, baked apples. Yeah, the peaches I do not have, no. Mm. Mm. It's relatively intense for just a 52 one. Um, feels more like a 56. Um, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit more sweet in the flavor than it was in the, in the snow, with uh, kind of the exact same flavors as you had in the snow, like with the fresh fruits and the caramel. But yeah, as you said, yeah, a bit more on the, bit spicy, a bit more on the, mm -hmm. the oaky side. So it's, mm, it's a nice combination. So uh, officially it said it's a... Um, ex-bourbon cast for the typical maturation and the finish in a Sauterne hogshead mm -hmm. but today uh, the French wine casks are not dismantled and uh, built built up again in Scotland they are shipped in completely uh, not dismantled and uh, so this should be a brick cask not a hogshead which is typically refabricated uh, from ex bourbon cask, so this should be a, a French brick cask, and this spiciness might come from the French oak. Mm -hmm. It's too it's too spicy for a for a white oak brick yeah. cask. Yeah. Yeah, it, it does have um that that oaky overtone in the in the finish. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> You've finished already. No, yeah. we dropped it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's it. So yeah. unfortunately, it's limited. But with a, with good yeah. luck, with there good luck, you find some similar whiskies maybe out there on the market. I yeah. think the Inchmorin or kind of do a few of these uh, single cask mm -hmm. bottlings. So have a look around. Maybe you will find something similar. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video interesting, then please feel free to give us a thumbs up or share it with your friends. And see you next time.